Hi guys, I am Viva. Welcome to my kitchen. Today the recipe is again traditional <coughs> Bulgarian recipe. Hey Kimba. <clears throat> it's called bird nest. This is something like a huge meatball or a burger with a twist. Let's call it that. It's very easy to make and it's delicious, absolutely delicious. If you want to see how it's done, keep on watching. If you like my video, give me the thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. I have here 21-22 ounces of ground meat, this is a mix, I'm gonna need 5 eggs, one for the ground meat and four I'm gonna place on the top of my bird nest, I'm gonna need 1 teaspoon salt, 1 teaspoon savory, cumin and black pepper by taste. Also two pickles and one grilled bell pepper and another extra four pickles. You see where they go and fresh parsley. And we're gonna start preparing our ground meat. My ground meat is a mix of 60% ground pork and 40% ground beef and I'm gonna make sure that I slice very very nicely the parsley just keep chopping until it's really really nicely chopped That's good enough, adding to the ground meat and adding all other spices and one egg. And I'll be mixing all of this with my hand because I want to make sure it gets distributed evenly and more important, I have to mix it very well until ready. I will know it's ready when the ground meat starts sticking to my fingers. Now we have to make four pieces. So we divide by two first and then make four balls out of our mix. From these balls we will make our nests. My cooking pan is greased and I'm using a little water on my fingers to be able to manage the ground meat well because it's sticky and when we make it as a bowl then we press down slightly and now I'm using a, the bottom of a glass to start shaping the nest, dipping in the water and pressing down and from here on I'll continue with my hands. What we're trying to do is make our nest as wide and deep as possible. So we have to shape, I'm shaping here nice tall walls and making sure the nest is wide and deep placing in the middle of the oven preheated to 350 degrees for 10 minutes on this during this time i'm gonna slice chop my pepper it's exactly one grilled pepper from a container 
you want to chop it nicely this is what we'll be putting on the bottom of our nests and now we have to chop the two little pickles one finger from the end and making thin slices here I'm cutting these pickles attempting to make something like that that resembles the tail of a bird it's not that difficult again we start cutting one finger from the end of the pickle what we need is Actually, the pickles to be small and straight but this is the best I was able to find in my jar of pickles so I gotta make it work and it's not too bad they can't always be exactly the same if you don't feel like doing that you can just slice your pickles and put them, arrange them as you wish. Now we got our nest out of the oven and we're putting on the bottom the chopped grilled peppers, evenly distributing them. And on the top we'll put the chopped pickles. And this will add absolutely great taste to our dish and now I'm placing our or my so-called bird tails feathers pickles resembling feathers I think they're kind of cute And now we're gonna place one egg in each, in each nest. take back to the oven and we will bake them until ready that depends again on your taste how you like your eggs maybe another 10 minutes or so my bird nests are ready oh my gosh they look so good and smell absolutely delicious If you decide to try this recipe at home, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me the thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. See you next time. Bye!